Well, I guess I've been writing about religion for about two years, maybe, when I've started blogging and for Global Voices for about a year and a half. And, uh, well, I think that we have a very strong uh, wave of fundamentalism growing here in Brazil. We have a, cr a very strong problem of Christian groups, Christian sects, uh, mostly Protestant, uh, that are trying to, you know, take all the rights that they can of the women, of homosexuals, of minority groups. And uh, in the past year, actually, the past election, presidential election, we've heard lots of anger speeches of uh, many anger priests, if we can say that, or people of the clergy, of not mostly not Catholic, but Protestant. They are trying everything to take off rights of everyone they can. You have to live under the Bible, you have to live under the Gospel, and if you're not a Christian, it's your problem. You have to live under this kind of law. So I felt like uh, it's not only a Brazilian problem. We have this problem of Christians in, um, in the United States, in other countries uh, in Southern America, even in Europe. And we have, of course, the problem of Islamic fundamentalism. Although we know that in both religions, it's like a minority group. We know that most of them doesn't actually believe in this. For instance, I came from a, a Christian family, a very Christian family, a uh, Kardecist and all of them simply do not accept to live under this kind of laws. The state is a thing, religion is another thing. What you do inside your place is different from what you do outside. I think that we must uh, separate this relig religiosity of the fundamentalism. I think that many people, because of this post-modernity of this very messed up world of uh, technology, etc., they feel like they need to find something to believe in, something, you know, to... to, to uh, to, I don't know, to believe. <laughs> and, but the other, in the other hand, we have this fundamentalism, which I think is totally different. Is a, I know people who just believe in everything, they, they really need something to, to, to follow, and then they just fell into this charlatans, if we can say that, and start, you know, to, to want to impose religion. I think it's too different, it's a different thing to try to find religion and to impose religion. Well, I think trying to make a conversation, trying to, to show different points of view. Actually, in my blog, I write my point of view, of course, but in Global Voices, for instance, I write, and everyone writes about opinions of different bloggers, of different people from Brazil and from other places of the world. Uh, and I think that what we can do is try to, to, to make people talk, to understand what's going on. Why do you believe this? Okay, you, you believe in something, but why do you have to impose your beliefs in some other, in some other people? It's like to make people talk, different people to converse, to, to, to talk.